Hey, Dan Jett here, and today you're going to learn the answer to the question I always get asked, the number one question I always get asked, which is, how much does it actually cost to travel? So that's what we're going to cover in today's video. Um, so, how much does it actually cost to travel the world? Less than you might think. Um, so let me just tell you a story. I've just been uh, speaking to my, uh, to my bro um about this and um even though obviously i've told him about my travel stars traveling and he's seen me travel over the last uh last uh, four years i suppose he's never really asked me uh this question uh, a lot of people do uh but my brother's never asked me this question we just uh we just had lunch there and um we were just talking about it um and it shocked him just how actually cheap it is to actually travel um and the big thing that you do realize once you uh once you have the ability to uh to work online and travel the world the big thing that you realize is that it's actually cheaper to travel the world um let me just say that again it is actually cheaper to travel the world so um it blew his mind i uh, couldn't believe that you know, um, if you go to Asia, uh, you're looking at, you know, less than ten pounds for a dorm for the night, um, and you know, less than five for food. It's crazy out there. Um, obviously, this only applies if if you're living in the the likes of uh, United Kingdom, or the US, or Australia, New Zealand, uh, and to be honest, most of Europe. Now, uh, especially uh, Western Europe, you know, France and Spain, Italy, these countries are really expensive to live in. Um, and unless you are uh, in the rat race, unless you are demanding a really high um, salary, it's really difficult to to live. Um, just before I got into this this all new reality of of traveling the world and um, working for myself, my own business, uh, before I got into all this, and uh, back in the 2015 um i used to live in a, a really big city in the north of england called leeds now i was just saying to my brother then like my bills just for council tax just for um electricity and water and for the rent of a one bedroom city center apartment was around thousand pounds a month so without even doing anything fun without doing anything that i wanted to do i like to do um without all that kind of stuff i'm already spending a grand of my month thousand pounds of my monthly wage just on the roof of my head and fair enough you can get it cheaper you know i don't think that you can't go down the road and, and live in a house free of people and let me just tell you this as well this happened in sydney as well even in sydney i had i had to had to even though i'm a really high paying job in the city and i had to live with somebody else and there's nowhere near the city you know, another city, yeah, I understand Sydney is a really expensive city to, to live in. Australia being one of the world's most expensive places to live. However, the vast majority of wage went on just living, rent on the roof above your head. So let's get to, like, what does it actually cost? Less than you might think. So I know personally that I need a thousand pounds a month to live in Asia. And you're thinking, whoa, that sounds a lot. Or maybe you're thinking, it doesn't sound like a lot. Well, let's put it this way. If you're looking at £10 for a dorm a night and you're looking around 5 to £10 for food a night, that's very, very little. You know, max £20 a day. You know, times a week, times seven. <laughs> you're not really looking at that much. £140 a week living? It's uh, crazy. You know, if you round that up to 150, uh, 150 a week, you know, two weeks, that's 300. Four weeks, a month, that's 600. So <laughs> you're really looking at very little. So if you have a job, if you create your own job, you can have this lifestyle. You can have the lifestyle of living anywhere. You have the lifestyle of living near a beach in Asia with everything that that brings you, the adventure, the excitement, um, all that kind of good stuff. Um, you can do it too, and it's far cheaper than you might think. 
Um, so just to kind of look at the, based on my experience, especially, you know, it's not all about just having a roof over your head. So how about the other things like uh, the cost to drink, the cost to go out, the cost to do activities. Obviously in Asia, it's far cheaper than anywhere else on planet Earth. You know, so if we looked at the, uh, the places based on my experience of where I've been, if you look at them in kind of order, so the cheapest by far is Asia. And what I mean by Asia is Far East Asia. So obviously the, the further out you go, so China and Japan, never been to China, but China and Japan, a little bit more expensive, I've especially being her, I've heard in China, it's a little bit more expensive. Whereas if you go into the likes of Thailand, Cambodia, Vietnam, Philippines, um, Indonesia is a, is a classic digital nomads hub. So these places are so much, so much cheaper. And plus you need less income to enjoy yourself there. You need less income to live there uh, and travel around. So you can have a far better life and lifestyle um, on far less money. Um, so yeah, uh, Asia being the, the very cheapest. The second is South America. So you're looking a little bit more expensive, like food and drink and accommodation activities this kind of thing and travel around uh, are always going to be slightly more expensive uh, and what i say is south america is like on par with eastern europe possibly eastern europe a little bit cheaper so the likes of poland um hungary and budapest um these kind of places tend to be around south american prices so again easily a thousand pound a month would easily cover what you need to do and what you what you want out uh, of your life every month and then the most expensive is your first world countries first world countries so australia new zealand uh, united kingdom spain italy these kind of countries are going to be the most expensive so what i personally do is i spend less time in the most expensive countries and more time in the cheaper countries uh, and thus over over time it kind of levels out some months are really low some months are really high and it kind of levels out around thousand pound a month so like i said you're going to learn in this video today exactly what it actually costs to travel the world so if you figure out and make your own business we can work from anywhere you can travel anywhere when you want on your own time scale everything um so this is the reason why it's so so important and this is the reason why i absolutely want as many people as possible throughout the world to do this to, uh, to get in the position where you can escape your nine to five slavery job, the position where you can work from anywhere and the position where you can travel anywhere you want at any time that you want to do it. I hope you found this video useful. This was explaining exactly how much it is to travel and the very fact that it's cheaper than you might think. Hope you found this useful. Dan Jet out.